In 1998, I was ready to retire and Buffalo came knocking and I thought, what the heck, let's do this. I'll play two years, call it quits and let's get the heck out. Doug, a lot of people say that you're just too short to play in the NFL. How do you address that issue that comes up again? And again? All I know is I've played the game at my height all my life. All right. I know no different. And uh, He fed off of people thinking he was too small. He was a great college player to watch, and, and I loved the Hale Flutie play as much as anybody else. But I just didn't see it for him in the NFL. I signed in Buffalo, minimal contract, and was told I'd have an opportunity to compete for the starting job. Say it, First chance they had to get somebody bigger, Say it, somebody more traditional looking Whoa. as a pocket quarterback, they got him, Rob Johnson. They got him from Jacksonville. So here's Rob Johnson, our new quarterback. He was touted like they were finding gold. All of a sudden, Flutie kind of became an afterthought. I think going in right now, Rob's our number one quarterback. I don't think there's any doubt about that. We haven't given up on anybody else, certainly, but we feel like he's going to step out and be our number one quarterback right now. Coach Phillips stated that Rob was going to be the starter. Doug wasn't happy hearing the announcement that it was declared so definitively. But Doug would just have a little smile on his face like, it is what it is and we'll see where we go. And it got exciting. What an interesting turn of events here in San Diego. Rob Johnson in his first start going down. And that means Doug Flutie, even though he's four foot seven, is going to get a helmet right now. Here's Flutie backpedals in the pocket. He lets it go long, and it is caught for the touchdown. How do you like that? How about this? Doug Flutie said he was too small to play in the NFL. After an absence of nearly a decade, Doug Flutie's second act in the NFL was underway. Flutie's play in the season opener created a buzz in Buffalo that kept building. He started out scrambling with the ball like he normally did, and all of a sudden he turns and just throws the ball. Now he throws, touchdown! A nice play by Doug Flutie. Let's go, Joe. Wow, <laughs> he just did so many things that were unexpected that they were special. His game really did work. He was making it happen in an NFL game. Guys like me who thought we were so smart saying this will never work, he went out there and proved it. And I was more than happy to write that I was wrong and I'll eat my bowl of Flutie Flakes to say that I was wrong. By the middle of the 1998 season, Flutie Mania was at full pitch. In week seven, the underdog Bills and their undersized quarterback face the undefeated Jacksonville Jaguars. Flutie, back to pass, throws it, it's caught, touchdown, Eric Moe, in for the score! The man without his own country for eight years has come south of the border and electrified this crowd. Does Flutie have a pro miracle to go along with a BC miracle? It's a miracle, man, man. I believe. I, I threw the ball without looking. Buffalo's coaches became believers as well. In November, they named Flutie their full-time starter. After leading the Bills to nine wins and a playoff appearance, Flutie collected Pro Bowl and Comeback Player of the Year honors, along with a new contract. That was the best ball Doug Flutie has thrown this season. A perfect strike, right on the money. The right read to see Eric Moulds deep down the middle, and he got the ball to him in stride. With 10 victories and another playoff berth in 1999, Buffalo's financial commitment to Flutie proved wise. But the team could not overlook its other multi-million dollar investment. In a meaningless game against Indianapolis at the end of the year, because we had our playoff spot locked up, they came to me and said, we're going to let Rob play. You rest up, get ready for playoffs. 
Doug was held out, Rob Johnson played in the game. Decisive victory by us. And Rob Johnson is the man of the moment. He and is the man of the hour. Fire. And then conversation took place between Wade Phillips and Mr. Ralph Wilson. And out of that conversation, the head coach walked out, said we're making a change. Uh, this week, as far as quarterbacks concerned, I'm starting Rob Johnson with Doug being the second quarterback. I love Wade Phillips. Wade was one of the most enjoyable head coaches I've ever played for. It wasn't Wade's decision. Management made a decision that they were spending this money on Rob and hadn't had any returns out of it yet, wanted to see what he could do. So they started them in the playoff game. Johnson looks to throw a screen. He's sacked! Sacked! Johnson was sacked six times and completed only 10 passes, none for touchdowns. But following a late fourth quarter field goal, Buffalo held a one point lead with 16 seconds left to play. Do the Titans have a miracle left in them? If they do, they need it now. Christie kicks it high and short. Gonna be fielded by Lorenzo Deal at the 25. Yeah, he pitches it. it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's, He's got something. Eight. He's got something. He's got it. He's got it. On the sidelines, the player who manufactured miracles on football fields all his life, helplessly fell prey to one. You know, in hindsight, you know, Doug, Doug probably would have won the game. So, you know, that's that's kind of the way we look at it.